Well, hello and welcome to another video on this channel. And from this video, we'll be starting a new playlist uh, focusing on the Room library, uh, which provides support for SQLite database. Previously, to use SQLite database in uh, for our Android application, we had to use something called SQLite helper classes and through that we could have interact with uh, uh, we could interact with the local database of our application but the modern time in modern times uh, we use room library to do just that so as you can see the name of our application will be budget app with room database and actually i i wanted to make a new to do application with the help of room but there are already tons of videos available for that so I uh, tried something different although the procedure and uh, the entry uh, in the in the SQLite database the, the querying the database all those things will be pretty similar but the logic and concept will be a little different so let's see what we'll be using in this uh, playlist um, while making this application so as you can see the first thing will be obviously room database and through that we'll be handling profile table and budget entry tables uh, so those two tables will be there and then we'll uh, use the dagger hilt library for dependency injection at this point you don't need to care about knowing uh, what dependency injection is and what hilt is so i'll be explaining every bit of uh, concept uh, uh, in the relative videos the next thing will be obviously MVVM architecture to follow best practice practices uh, that suggested by Google then uh, another thing will be navigation component from uh, to, to move from one fragment to another fragment and yeah I have already covered um, the VM and navigation component in my previous playlist and so the hilt and room will be different topics for this playlist and I, I will explain those concepts in uh, upcoming videos so uh, now let, let's get get to the application that we'll be building all right so here's an application it's named budget application so when we open the app it will take you through the um, my profile fragment and uh, we'll create a profile let me just create it very quickly i'll enter my name gray gray dab at gmail.com and then bar bank name will be barclays and initial balance i want to keep at thousand pounds and i'll submit the data and all right so now we if we go back to the profile fragment from the option menu we have these details uh, listed down we have initial balance at 2000 and as you can see there is a new field here uh, current balance which is thousand and as you can see um, the button submit detail is gone instead we have a new button which is for update current balance so we'll see when we use use uh, this button uh, but let's make a budget entry uh, when we go to the home screen uh, we have this calendar view we just have to select a date so suppose today is 21st of september and i i spent one pound uh, purchasing a coffee so i'll just put one pound and as i'm giving money uh that this will be debit and you can also choose credit when you uh, receiving money and uh, in the real time and this amount will be updated if you make this entry your current balance will change to this amount so let's submit an entry uh, a new snack bar will pop up and says entry edit and if you go to see reports uh, we'll see that i spent one pound on this date and i spent on this blah 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 thing right so anyway and also we have this um a little graphic for spending as well uh let's add another budget entry um i'm gonna select first of september this time i'm taking money from my friend so he sent me 100 pounds let's say sam sent me this as a gift and as you can see the current balance will be changed to thousand and ninety nine pounds and if I submit the entry all right it's submit submitted 
So now if I go to see the parts, I have two entries. Now we also have a functionality to filter out the reports that we want to see. If you go to this um, scroll down, it will have different options. One week, one month, six months and show all. So if I click on show all, all the entries in my database will uh, will be loaded in the, into the recycler view. And if I select six month, all the entries uh, of six month past six months from this date today's date will be shown and let's let's click one week and as you can see one entry was gone um, because that was uh, more than a week older so let me just uh, show that again and we also have this show statistics uh, text view if I click on that it will show me how many uh, um, how much money I've spent and how my how much money has been credited to my account um, Now another thing if I long click on uh, this item it will pop up an um, Bottom sheet I can edit uh, an item here. Suppose let me just uh, add the purpose here just coffee taste and if I update the entry, it will update it here. And suppose if I have added a long, long uh, purpose here uh, that doesn't fit in a single line, I have added this tooltip text as well. So just in case. And also, uh, I have a functionality to uh, swipe down uh, the item and delete that when we'll be swiping at. Uh, let's suppose let's swipe that and we have an undo option of that as well so now last thing that I want to show you is the profile fragment as you already have seen this 1099 pound is updated so if I have deleted this uh, the new balance new current balance should be uh, 1100 uh, pounds right 1100 pounds so let's see if it's updated or not uh, so it is not so in that case the, the reason why this happened is because uh, the room library the SQLite database is not a real-time database it takes a bit time to synchronize so in that case um, we have to wait for a, a few seconds and then we can have to click this button and uh, maybe it's not enough time it takes a bit time to synchronize and eventually it will update the current balance as well so as you can see the now current balance is now hundred and uh, thousand and hundred pounds as we have expected so this is the little application that we'll be building and now if we go if you go to the link on uh, in the description a github account um, github repository link i have already made a project um, I have included few th few drawables here. The first thing is button background, uh, little icons for credit and debits, and then we have included this layouts as well. Then uh, I have included the dependencies uh, for navigation, health, view model, live data, room library coroutines and stuff so you can fetch this repository and clone into your android studio if you want and if you don't want to clone it you can always copy paste these libraries from the repository so i i guess that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next video where we'll be uh, covering the navigation of our application bye bye